thank God so much for your lives and how far you have supported the vision of the church, possessing the nation as an agent of transformation. We cannot overemphasize our appreciation to you and to the Lord God Almighty for what he is doing in the church of Pentecost USA Inc. Sons of God, march forward. Victory through the blood of Jesus. Beloved in the Lord, Internal Missions Week is here again. My name is Pastor Berryman. I am the district pastor for the military base district in Hawaii, and I'm one of the coordinators for the military fellowship of our great church. As we celebrate this year, 2022, Internal Missions Week, it is our prayer that the Lord God Almighty will continue to visit the Church of Pentecost International, and for that matter, North south central and latin america the heart desire of god is that all men shall come to the saving knowledge of christ so that the kingdom of the nations shall become the kingdom of our god the only way by which we can do this is to aggressively preach the gospel of salvation we appreciate god for your support in diverse ways you have supported this mission and this vision of the church for so long. This year, guided by the team, being equipped with the gospel of our salvation to possess the nation. Taken from Romans 1, 16, and then Ephesians chapter 6, 17 through 18, Apostle Paul emphatically said, I am not ashamed of the gospel. For it is the power of God unto salvation, first to the Jews and then to the Greeks. People of God, for such a time as this, God is calling us to arise, not to be ashamed, but to preach the good news so that many shall come to the saving knowledge of God. By the grace of God, the military fellowship and military base district started in 2017 under the leadership of our National Executive Council led by Apostle Ajiman Amwakum. And the goal for the military fellowship as well as the military-based district was threefold. First was to create an avenue of mobilization and a platform for all the members of our church who are in the military to fellowship together. Two was also to create an outreach arm into the various military establishment in our nation. And three was to create a place of worship to start churches, assemblies, and districts close to military establishment. By the grace of God, through the instrumentality of our various ministers and pastors, as well as our national head, Apostle Ajiman Amakun, there are three growing military-based districts in the nation. One at Fayetteville, second one at Hawaii, and the third one currently at San Diego. Uh, there are nursery assemblies in Guam, and in Alaska. And by the grace of God, newer places are being reached with the gospel of Jesus Christ through the various leaders in the military fellowship. And if we want to look back a little bit, for the past five years, by the grace of God and your prayer support, your financial support, COP USA is able to possess the following nations for Christ. Guyana, we re-establish, and now we have a missionary in Guyana from COP USA. By his blood, we are washed clean. By his blood. Once again, Trinidad Tobago, we re-established the church in Trinidad Tobago. And now we have a missionary there. In the area of groundbreaking countries, by the grace of God, we are able to register our presence in Jamaica, which now we have a missionary there. Honduras, we have a missionary there. Bahamas, 
We sent a missionary there. Guatemala, Hawaii, Cuba, Panama, and Cape Counting. All by the grace of God and your support. God is expecting that all of us will engage vigorously in personal evangelism, among other things, as we celebrate this year's internal mission spirit. So that every individual, by any means possible, will win a soul for Christ. The vision is for Church of Pentecost USA Incorporated to be at every major military establishment. This will mean that we are reaching people of all nations, of all color, of all persuasions with the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I want to report that by the grace of God, there are three active ministers, two bivocational and one full-time ministers attending to the needs of our military members. And this year, two more probationary overseers have been called to join in this workforce. The goal eventually is to have Church of Pentecost sponsored chaplains in all the military services. By the grace of God, we believe that as God enables us and as, uh, as the various pastors, the various regions and the various regional heads join hands together to expand the gospel in this peculiar field, we will make inroads and reach and impact this nation for Jesus Christ. Interestingly, most of our members who are going even overseas are using this avenue to preach and reach out with the gospel. In Korea currently, military fellowship members have come together and together with the national head there, they are starting an assembly that is growing and making a difference there. Also, our, our brother, Elder Stanley, now probationary overseer, Stanley Ankara, on his ship, USS Halsey, started the Church of Pentecost, where people were meeting and fellowshipping and by the grace of God, this church has transitioned into the Pearl Harbor Assembly here in Hawaii. I believe without any iota of doubt that this vision is from God and God is using the military fellowship and district to reach people in very peculiar situations. I believe our brothers who deploy use this avenue to also create cell groups and preach and teach the gospel of Jesus Christ. In the area of home and urban, ministries in the nation by the grace of god we have been able to establish spanish community outreach french community outreach uh, indian community out outreach and swahili community outreach we cannot overemphasize what the lord has done in the area of church planting for the past five years now we are able to plant 94 churches in the nation 94 since 2017 till now and we keep counting district regions that we are able to plant it all to the glory of god we want to say that may the lord god almighty continue to bless you for what your support your financial support your prayer support and other resources human support are doing for the work here in the United States of America. Passionately pray for our missionaries who have been sent so that they will experience divine protection. They will have the power of God to be able to preach the gospel in season and out of season. And also their families shall be protected from the atrocities of the enemy. We pray and we want to encourage each and every one of you to be part of this program as you always do. Let us make the vision for the Church of Pentecost International, and for that matter, COP USA Inc., our aim. And our aim is to possess the nations, win all the winnable souls for Christ, making sure that this members that comes in, we will teach them with the gospel message we will prepare and equip them so that they can go out there in order to win all other winnable souls for Christ. By the grace of God, we believe the future is for us 
to really possess the military establishment for Jesus Christ, impacting life and possessing the nation. As part of our Vision 2026 for the COP USC, we want to plant churches in all the metropolitan cities, Atlanta, Chicago, New York, Virginia, and all the other metropolitan cities. By the grace of God, we are able to plant Rehoboth as one of the model churches in New Jersey. By the grace of God, now we have capital city in Maryland region. It is our aim that we find big places for these models and also other metropolitan cities. All demands money so that we'll be able to do that great environment where we'll be able to win all the Americans and other nationals into the church. And it is my prayer that during this season, we will make it our aim and our prayer to touch this area. It is very, very important to make sure that we bring in other nationals, the Americans, the black Americans, all other nationals to be part of COP International. Lastly, we want to encourage all of us, as we do always, to give our financial resources bountifully, graciously, and generously more than we did last year, so that we shall have enough resources to be able to expand the kingdom of God. I am very confident that this year you will give your maximum collaboration and cooperation to this worthy cause, so that at the end of the day, all the glory shall be unto the Lord. I seize this opportunity on behalf of the National Evangelism Ministry to express gratitude to our great God for his graciousness towards the church and the body of Christ. God bless you. And we are happy and thankful to God for the support of the National Executive Council under the leadership of our National Head Apostle Ajimana Mwakum, all the area heads, all the pastors, all the leaders of the church, and you, the dear members of Church of Pentecost USA Incorporated. Also, I want to express gratitude and great thanks to our National Head, Apostle Michael Ajimana Mwakum and the family the National Executive for their inflection support in yesteryears and in the years to come. Our Apostles, Evangelists, Regional Heads, the Pastorate, Ministry Leadership, National Evangelism Ministry Leadership, across board, and lastly, the entire membership for your unflinching support for the work of missions. In the yesteryears, in this year's program and in the years to come. May the Lord God Almighty bless you. Even as you give your financial support to support Internal Missions Week. The God of our fathers who has become our own God, may he continue to bless you. And your labor in the Lord will never be in vain. Let us equip men and women to go out there possessing the nations. And let us also remember that we have about 15 countries yet to be possessed for the Lord. And we need your financial support. We need your human resources and your prayer support so that this year we'll be able to at least enter into three or four countries before the end of the year. May the Lord bless you. We love you all. Bye-bye.